All right, Shalom. I want to start off by saying, Kal Halalim, La Yehawah Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Rechak Kadash. The blunders unto the apostles of GMS, who rule well, whom I learned the truth from. And salutations unto you, brothers and you sisters that take heed in sincerity and the truth. All right, uh, I'm just coming home from camp. You know, I'm just going to, you know, go in the spirit. Um, you know, and I was thinking of the lesson to title as... Uh, what do you expect? And you know, I just wanted to kind of speak on. I'm driving, so I'm not. I don't know. I can't really pull uh, precepts, but hey, through the Spirit, man, this word is going to be written in us. It says in the Book of Hebrews, in our hearts, man. So guess what? We're rehearsing that right now. All these years of you, of brothers, man, studying. It, 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 if certain things aren't in you, man, that means it's not really sinking in. And you're not applying uh, applying this thing, like Apostle Gabar says, this thing of ours, right? The scripture says to apply thine heart unto understanding. You can't just get the book of Proverbs 4 and 7, right? It tells you wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, right? And with all thy getting, get understanding. So you can't just, oh yeah, I quote this precept and I got this and then but you gotta you gotta understand. To the point where somebody asks you a question Like uh, there's a brother that came up to camp today He said he knows he's an Israelite I don't know what kind of videos he was watching But he, he, he has a co-worker I guess That he knows he's an Israelite too And he asked a simple question About what about cursing Right In the uh, example of us using rude offensive language Or words such as fuck Right, like shit or bitch, and we simply broke it down to him, and he had that eureka, that light bulb turning on in his head type moment, and it was a beautiful thing to see. Cause not too many people get that; they just keep fighting and wrestling with it. You know, like the scripture says, unto their own destruction. Because at the end of the day. What happens after you wrestle and you reject it, you scoff at it. And uh, the scriptures tell you what a scoffer, you know, hey, the, he that scoffs at the word of the Lord shall be destroyed, man. It's plain and simple. Um, but yeah, we broke it down to him and he got it. So you're supposed to be able to break this thing down in a simple manner to a child, really. And that's where we are when we first hear this word, we're children. We're on the level of a child Or we're at least supposed to be Guys that aren't They're proud they're, They think they have it And uh, you know They think they're on the level of an adult But when you come in this You're a newborn man Right But back to the lesson I wanted to uh, speak about You know like when You jakes out there man Like in my own personal life I see You know through a, through a woman I'm dealing with her friend and their sisters and this and that you guys are wicked <laughs> okay I'm just gonna say that out loud you guys are just wicked but you have this weird tendency to try to pass something on to your you know your little sister your little brother your cousin oh positivity and this and so forth and so on but really, you're not passing on anything that is of value, a.k.a. wisdom. You're passing on what you people call good vibes. You know, put a smile on that child's face. Make him laugh. Make him make him smile. Make him joyful. But that's not li what life is about, man. All right? That's not what life is about. You know, we here at Great Millstone, through the apostles, we've been taught that... Hey, through the scriptures it tells you bitterness or sorrow is better than laughter. For that is the end of all men. You understand? Um, and you know, there's a lot of there's a lot to take um, you know, edification wise from bitterness. Case in point, when you study herb herbology, herbalism. Bitter herbs are some of the most powerful herbs on the planet. And they help you out greatly. Bitter herbs, when you deal with bitter herbs, man, I mean, nasty, like, hey, man, if you ever made a tea with golden seal, 
talk about bitter. You know? Um, those are some of the best digestive aid herbs on the planet. And bitters are really meant for that. When we eat the horseradish at Passover, Pasach, guess what? That's a bitter. That's good for your digestive system. Ginger, it's a spice, but it's also bitter, mildly, right? That's that's good, great for your digestive system. Case in point is too many sweets. You get spoiled, man. Your teeth rot. You know what I mean? Um, all kinds of shit happens, man. You know what I mean? You're just not right. You want to sweeten up your life? Well, you're not going to have a sweet death, that's for sure. But you guys want to pass on this garbage to your kids. And you're doing it in the best way you think you know. But you guys don't have the wisdom and knowledge, man, to pass these things on to your relatives and your children. It takes stern, austere men, really, to pass it on. The women have their role to teach the children to a certain degree. But we all know what a single parent household produces for the most part. Always, always uh, exceptions to the rule. We understand that we're talking about the whole, the majority of the pie, not the mi- not the minute minority. Talking about the majority produces um, effeminate, disorderly monsters, as the scriptures describe them, children. Um, you know, what do you expect, man? That's a lesson. What do you expect? When you when your children are seeing things online or on their TV and all of a sudden you catch them one day, you, you know, your daughter twerking. And a lot of you guys, man, you just egg that on like, yeah, go get it, yeah. Hey. <laughs> you know? And you guys boasting your wickedness, man. Um... What do you expect? You guys are throwing up these different hand symbols, man. And that's crazy because it's on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, this shit called TikTok. I don't even know what the hell that shit is. Man, you, you know, your children are throwing up the uh, go, go, uh, the, the goat of Mendez, the, the so-called peace sign, which is known as a peace sign, but that is what they termed it. It's a lot older, this, this symbol. It's, it's the goat of Mendes. When, when you have peace sign, and you put your thumb in the middle between your middle finger and your index finger, right? What happens is, you know, even you look at a, there's a picture of a book I had on symbols, and it showed a priest throwing it up, and it was, there was a shadow, and it ba- it's basically Baphomet. It's a goat, right? It's the goat god. So that's dealing with heavy ass witchcraft You know um, That whole peace movement Was all uh, Luciferian Right Illuminated The the symbol for peace Not the hand symbol The actual symbol that you see Is actually an inverted broken crucifix Going into Um I believe it was the Apostle Peter. He was uh, crucified upside down because he, he wasn't. He told. He said, I, "I'm not worthy to be crucified like my Lord." So they broke the the the, the two hands, the horizontal hands, or the stumps of the of the cross, and they put it upside down, and that's how you get your so-called peace symbol, right? Um, you know, they're throwing up the devil horn The actual devil horn, man And, ba- ba- you know, back in the day People said, oh no, that's just rock and roll Well, look at rock and roll Look at the metal That's all pure witchcraft What the hell are you people talking about? They they blatantly come out talking about the devil And Satan and You know And now, somehow From that shit You, you dumbass jakes, you Israelites You're throwing that shit up so are you part of rock and roll now or, or, or what is this new trend of that shit The devil horns What are you guys throwing up man 
your kids are doing it and you're and you're here man you think you're in the fucking twilight zone like yo what are my kids doing what am i what's my little brother doing what's my little sister doing but you people don't know what the hell's going on you just think that's the next fashion statement that's the next trend and really man you guys are just fucking casting spells and spirits upon each other without you knowing it man and you people that think it's just innocent hand gestures and keep stay stay stuck on stupid okay keep stay thirsty my friends all right keep drinking that kool-aid y'all are cursing yourselves man you guys are bringing curses and uh heavy demons to your household man that's why when shit goes wrong you're wondering what the hell where did this come from where did this blow in from well look at your actions man look at your madness that you're insinuating you're promoting what do you expect man i keep saying that but what do you expect and we're letting you know and you're scoffing at the men that are letting you know this thing through the spirit of yahweh bashim yoshai this place is pure hell man this this place is a land of death Matter of fact, Psalms 23 lets you know this is the valley of the shadow of death, man. A shadow does what? A shadow follows you. So in this place, death follows you. And the wages of sin is death. So you can you can literally say sin follows you in this place until you meet your death. You understand? As the scripture says in Sirach 10. As the as the as the king of the people, so you know, as the king is, so are the are, are his people. I'm roughly paraphrasing it. As the officers, so you know, as are the servants, etc., etc. So your top men going in the military, going into your entertainers, going into your scholars, your gurus, you know, your 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 political men, all those. Uh, 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 Nitwits, man. Okay, all those uh, 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 infidels. <laughs> you know, they're all of a high degree, and they deal with witchcraft, man. They deal with serious witchcraft, man. And you guys stay thinking that that's a damn joke, right? Y'all stay thinking that's a damn joke, man. It's not no damn joke. It's real shit. You know, um, but but that's the scripture to prove it. Really, as to what do you expect? So you got your top people on the planet being demons and, and consulting with spirits, necromancers consulting with the dead, warlocks and sorcerers and witches, cursing people, man, putting death spells. Putting spells of madness, making people go crazy. What do you expect, man? In your media, Disney, right? For years, man, it's been out about their uh, 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 subliminal ped uh, pedophilia messages and their symbols. When you got the Disney, uh, mer the Little Mermaid, for example, right? There's nothing but a bunch of sex symbols there, phallic symbols. Look that up. What a phallus is, or phallic, P H A L L I C, or P H A L L U S, right? You have these structures and monuments. What does the word monument mean? It means to remember. You have a monument of a phallic symbol in almost every major city in America DC, uh, Vegas, you know, it's in Paris as well. An obelisk, right? Which is a phallic symbol. What the hell is that doing there? So, this thing gets deep, man. And you wonder why these spirits are around and people are bothered. People can't sleep. Some of your family members, they die in their sleep or they, have, they, they get tortured in their... In, in their, in their uh, uh, they, they really can't sleep. <coughs> Salakia. They really can't sleep. Uh, because they're being held with sleep paralysis. Which is just Esau's degenerate way of saying demons are troubling you in your sleep. Because you Christ, you worship Christmas. You venerate different spirits and demons through various ways. You think witchcraft comes to you and says, hey, you know, 
this is witchcraft. Come worship Satan. You know, let, uh, sacrifice your kids to me. No, man. You know, it comes in subliminal, deceptive manners. They did not say in the book of Genesis 3 that the serpent was uh, uh, was more subtle than any creature on, on, the, on the field, in the planet. So, and does it not also say in the book of uh, 2 Corinthians that Satan himself is transformed into the angel of light? And if he is, then his ministers are also transformed into the ministers of light. Right? So they look like the good guys, the guys that are giving you health and prosperity and wellness, but they're the ones that are actually poisoning you <clears throat> and slowly, you know, a slow, painful death. And you're in your joy thinking, oh, I'm blessed. And, uh, you know, that was... That was all I had. I don't want to rant. I'm just amazed, man. To, to be honest, I just want to say, uh, for letting me see these things and letting the Akim see these things because it's a blessing, man. You got to stop and ponder and, and be grateful. Take gratitude that the Lord gave you the eye self to see. Because, uh, hey, these people are enchanted. They're in the dream, man. They're in the matrix, you know, just like in the matrix. And, and what did Morpheus say? <clears throat> he said a lot of these people, they're not ready to be unplugged from the matrix. Right? They're just too comfortable. What did the guy in the uh, matrix say? The guy that sold out, I forget his name. He said, ignorance is bliss. And really, <clears throat> on the surface it is. That's why, you know, oh, I'd rather not know. Oh, it's okay. I got my money, I got my house, I got my woman. I'm being poisoned, but it's okay. I'm comfortable. But really it's not Because why? You're being poisoned You're being destroyed You know, you're taking your drugs To kind of alleviate the pain You know what I mean? <clears throat> and um, you know, it helps for a bit But then you got a certain ailment And, 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 and all kinds of other shit you know, <clears throat> so after a while, you just break down, man. All right. So with that, I want to say, Kal Halalim Le Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem Rachakadash. The Milan is to the apostles and GMS whom I have learned this truth from. And salutations unto you, brothers and your few sisters that do take heed in sincerity and in truth. All right. Um, you know, and we're almost out of here, man. So lucky, I'm just driving. But we're almost out of here, man. And uh, this thing is, is 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 almost done. You know what I mean? This thing is almost done. You're seeing what's happening in Australia. You have half a billion animals that died, and uh, twelve. What is it? Twelve million acres destroyed. In Australia so you know this thing is this thing is on its way you, you already know what's going on in Iran right I seen a picture brothers showed me of the troops being deployed and they're saying pray for them you know they're here to protect us and they don't know what the hell's going on you people like a puzzle to heart says you don't know what the hell's going on <laughs> all those guys going over there man and there's gonna be more it's gonna be a lot of you a lot of you nerds and a lot of you damn Babylonians that play Call of Duty are going to be de uh, 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 deployed and uh, drafted all right, over there in the Middle East <clears throat> to meet your death and to meet the Lord because he's going to be there as well. He's going to come when you guys are in the midst of fighting. So with that, again, Barakatayahawah, Barakatayahawah Shai. And until next time, Lord's will, I say Shalom.